We're going to show you an incredibly cheap and amazing trick to waterproof wood at a ridiculously low price. Let's pour it now. Let's see, go ahead. Let's see, a bit of silicone. Let's pour it. All right, I think that's good. And now a little bit of solvent, universal solvent, salt. Now we're gonna stir this. It's already dissolved, right? The silicone is already practically liquid. This is a super invention, right? It's a total waterproofing tip. Uh, the factories, the factories are going to lynch us because it costs almost nothing, just a penny. And it waterproofs. We're going to apply it to this wood, which is usually particle board. And with just a little water, it swells, deteriorates, and gets damaged. First, we'll apply it like this. Okay, let's apply it properly. Leave half untreated to see the difference in water flow and absorption. Water swells and damages the wood. It's to see the waterproofing capacity this has. Also, it's very fast. You don't have to wait 24 hours like with most products, usually paint or things you apply. But in 5 or 10 minutes, we practically have this dry and ready for water. Alright, let's also go over here. That's why I'm telling you these are such cheap solutions. Discovering this is terrible for the chemical industry, right? And look how much you can do with a tube of silicone and a can of solvent. I'll put some on this wood and this pine one. We give it a little coat like this, kind of like do-it-yourself here. We look like we're doing do-it-yourself. Do you build a building at home on the weekend? It's just that I remember many years ago, I used to watch do-it-yourself shows. I have to confess. The thing is, many years ago, I used to watch television. Yeah, yeah, I imagine like everyone does today. I haven't watched it in years, so I'm unsure if those shows are still on, but I imagine they are. We're going to give this one plenty of water later because it's actually the same wood that we're going to waterproof over there in the tool shed. We're also going to test it with a piece of cardboard. We'll have two references, the dry one and the waterproofed one, and here we'll see the effect. All right, there we have it. We're going to leave this one dry which will also get wet later with water. And this one we're going to treat. So let's waterproof it. Cardboard, gentlemen, cardboard, this is amazing because it's true. Cardboard is also a very cheap solution for insulation. What happens is that it's often not used because of water because it can get wet, but it's a wonderful insulator. We might try to sell you something, so be aware. Careful, I might say careful, careful, stop the video. Let's see if we're going to sell you a Yabugo ham. Uh, no, it's not a joke. Well, let's leave it. Let's cut as well. Can a sheet of paper be waterproofed? Well, it's not a sheet of paper. It's a notebook page, but well, it has the same effect as a sheet of paper. Because this is like a solution, like magic. Let's... Put it here like this, then let's go over there. Look, look at the water. You see it? Look, if I wet this, if I wet this, the water stays that in the wood, right? No, like this one, where the drops slide off. Do you see it? The water slides off the surface in some areas, indicating it's likely plastic. That part there in a little while is going to swell. As soon as the water has penetrated, observe how the drops slide off and the effect it creates. The water remains here. Notice the drops sliding. Look at this spot. The water flows differently over the two surfaces. It looks like marble on one, where the water goes over the top without penetrating. On the other, the water penetrates the surface. Look. If you notice the difference between the two parts, uh, I wiped this one with a cloth and this is dry. This is dry. The water didn't get into this one here. This won't dry because the water soaked in. The wood, uh, which is what I wanted you to see, this one isn't, we're not going to try. Let's put the cardboard, let's put it on top here, okay? This is the one with the magic waterproofing, and this is the one without it. Let's pour some water. This is the one with the waterproofing. Do you see how it repels it? I mean, it doesn't stay on the cardboard. If you notice, look, you see, it doesn't stay. Now look at this cardboard, see how the water stays on it? It's going to soak through until it gets ruined. But that's it, you see, it's all soaked. Now look at this one. Yes, yes, it doesn't stay here. It slides off. It has a layer. It slides off completely. And this one is already, let's say, ready to go. This one is already burst. That one is already soaked. And now look at this one. 
Auntie, dry, dry. And it's cardboard, huh? Yes, yes, yes. We're continuing with the test. What's going on? The water doesn't stay. You realize that the surface doesn't hold it. I mean, the surface is protected and here it stays, which is natural. We remove this one and this one. This one is already completely soaked. This one is dry. Let's put it here. We test the sheet. The sheet is only on one side, a sheet. And this is the one that has it. Let's pour there. Let's see. Let's pour there. Well, it has the same effect. Do you see the drops? How they run? Uh, how it goes on the paper, just like the same effect with the cardboard. It doesn't stay on the paper. However, if I pour it on this one, the water rests on and soaks through it. It's already stuck to the surface. It's resting on, it's already wrinkling, it's already showing. However, in this one, well, it keeps sliding off the water. It doesn't affect it. Look at those drops. They're beautiful. The shapes they make. But anyway, you can see it doesn't affect it. In this one, well, nothing. If you pick it up now, would it be ready to throw away? Huh? Look, it's already broken. It's already broken? Well, this one shows the effect on one side, even though we didn't do anything to it, except on that side. Now let's observe the result of the wood we'll use, since we've seen examples. It's good that we're not going to use the sheets with this one, but now we're going to use this wood, which is the one that's right there. Let's see what happens if we pour water on this wood, like when it rains. Let's check it out. And well, it seems that the effect is the same as what we saw with the other materials. The water doesn't stay on the surface, it slides off. There's a waterproof film that prevents the water from stopping. It's as if it were a plastic surface instead of wood, you see? But it's wood. But it's wood. See how we're going? And what does this do? Well, it protects the wood, it doesn't get wet. Let's see, the thing about wood is that getting wet isn't a problem. There's a widespread belief that when wood gets wet, it gets damaged, but that's not true. And this was told to me by a master carpenter, it's not something I came up with. Uh, he told me that as long as wood can dry, as long as it dries, it doesn't rot. Wood is a natural material, and it doesn't rot, but it has to be able to dry. Often, the part of a driven post that rots is the bottom, which is in contact with moisture. But if the wood dries, nothing happens. What happens with this product? Not only does it not need to dry, but it doesn't get wet, because, as you can see, it doesn't get wet. We can keep it like this as long as we want. The wood completely repels water. I believe this test is sufficient. The drops, huh? Beautiful, right? It's okay, they look different, but it's the same water. This is what happens with humans, you know? They think they're unique and different, but they're just like everyone else. They're like the drops. Test pass, huh? Counting the curve and... Excellent image in action. We remove this, we leave everything else, we leave everything and put it on. This is the before. Let's see, let's try. Which presentation is this? Well, how tall is it? It needs to be painted, it needs to be painted. Cool, cool, cool. Damn, that's awesome. <laughs>